Whoop. And remember, if you're banging around and stuff while we're streaming, just mute. Yep. Oops. Okay, I have hit streaming, but I don't see us on the Onyx Path channel. Is there a slight delay? It should be about like six or seven seconds. Okay, I think after the, hello, we are live. Sorry about that, it is my hello. first time doing tech for this. Uh, hello, welcome to the Game Zero for The Last Fairy Tale, uh, Changeling the Dreaming 20th edition, uh, 20th anniversary game. Uh, and today we will be talking about the Chronicle and things we want out of it and creating characters. Hooray! Uh, so, I think awesome we would... Thought. Yeah, so, uh, let's, uh, start off with some introductions. So, if people want to start? I can start. Go for it. Hi, I'm Panda, also known as Veppels. Um, I'm involved with LARPing and tabletop role-playing. I've been dreaming of playing Dreaming since I was 13 and got a copy of the book for my aunt. But um, this is an exciting opportunity to finally get to perhaps play the SLU I've always dreamed of. Yes, I know it's not pronounced SLU, but I think it sounds cuter that way. Hi, um, I'm Harry. Uh, I'm a huge fan of tabletop RPGs and all that jazz. I'm on a bunch of stuff here on the Onyx Path, actually. Find me in Little Brick Reunion and on uh, Blood City. Um, I also host, uh, I'm the storyteller for Saratoga by Night. Um, I'm always down to play more tabletop games, and the setting of 11th century Wales seemed really awesome. So, Well, it's, it's going to start in am. Wales. It won't end there. Uh, bear with me. Oh, boy. We've had a attack of gremlins, uh, so i got to fix stuff. Uh, continue to talk. My apologies to our viewers if things things get weird. Fetch right. the knockers. Yeah, seriously, someone play a knocker so we can help. <laughs> well, hi, I'm Dixie. I am one of the in-house developers on Onyx Path. I also co-host Onyx Pathcast. Uh, I've probably been playing Dreaming since 99 or so, I'd say. I used to play quite a while. Uh, it's my first game in many, many years. I was planning to play a Slua this whole time, but maybe I won't if uh, you're doing that. So we'll figure it out. Kaldun, okay. if you're talking, we cannot hear you. How about now? Can you hear me yeah. now? Yeah. Oh, here, there Yay! we go. All right, thanks. Hey. I like saw your uh, mouth moving. I was like, I think he's actually introducing himself. No, it's just a joke. I like to play. I like to just like you know, make you think I'm the deaf. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Moon. Um, Khaldun Khalil. I've been playing uh, Will of Darkness since uh, the early '90s. Uh, I guess '91, '92, something like that. Uh, I've written for uh, Vampire and uh, Mummy and a few other things. Um, Belial's Brood and uh, Mythologies for Requiem and Cairo by Night, of course, and uh, some V5 stuff now, like Player's Guide and uh, the Camarilla book. Um, and, you know, I'm not a, actually, I'm not a big Changeling, the Dreaming player. I feel a lot of lost. Uh, so this is actually only I think, my third or fourth in the Dreaming game, including um, uh, the one I played with uh, Rachel before. So by far, Rachel is far and beyond the best Changeling storyteller I ever had. 
that. Mm. So oh, I'm thank very you. Excited to, uh, to keep going. Well, and that's not just because I've only played a few games. I mean, I, I had a lot of fun last time, and, and here I am again. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Well, we are, we are happy to have you, and I think I have uh, zotted all the gremlins. My apologies for that. That was weird. Uh, so, awesome. Uh, if people decide they want an all slower campaign, I'm happy to run that. Uh, uh, I'll take a look over the kit real quick. <laughs> uh, I'm also perfectly happy to switch to Puka, but um, if someone's like, I want to play it slow. Yeah, and uh, that was sort of one of the things that I wanted to lead with in that I really like the idea that changelings are manifestations of sort of the collective unconscious of people, and they're the stories we tell each other and the things that we think about those stories. Uh, and so even though we're going to be creating technically a kith today, I don't want you to feel locked into it. I want you to go more with concept. So if you want to play someone who's scary and creepy and kind of a nightmare, you know, maybe in this incarnation you manifest as a slua and in your next incarnation you're a red cap or an ogre. So I want to build in a little bit of flexibility. So well, we're ready to talk about characters. I'm bursting with ideas. But I'll let oh, people, um, here we go. Talk. Let's hear it. I'm so. Me? Yeah. Okay. Well, the slew concept that I had was um, basically a post traumatic um, stress disorder slua. She exists in the aftermath of trauma, but she's also the spirit of the good fear and that she's the necessary need to trust your instincts when you're like, that person is creepy and they're asking me to do them a favor, but I should ignore that and I should be firm and set my boundaries. And that was what I was planning on traveling through was that she would do things like show up around people who had been severely traumatized, but she's also part of about living with that change that you've gone through. The other concept I had was a little bit more straightforward and would be just as fun to play that I was thinking I'd go with a cat puka, but she'd be dealing with or with the relationship we have with self-domesticated animals and our dependency on them as a feeling of protection. That's cool. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, so part of the concept of this game is that it is going to be generational, uh, and so you okay. will have different incarnations. So as you create your character, Today, yes, you are going to be playing someone in 11th century Wales, but also give, you know, a little bit of thought to, like, who would this person be during the Renaissance? Who would they be during the Interregnum? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and so, I guess with that, like, what sort of, what sort of chronicle would you guys like to have? What sort of themes do you want to explore or lean into? Hmm. I'd like to lean into the value that stories have to humans. I know the format doesn't lead itself to something that's very heavy crunch, so there'd be an aspect of collaborative storytelling going on. I don't know how much jumping around the world you'd be doing, but... Um, okay, the meeting no longer has a time limit. It just gave me a little pop-up. Um, I, I think I like the idea of... Um, the way that we use stories to process and understand changes in our reality and the way that we need a narrative to make sense out of things that we don't ever see the world the way it is. We see the world the way that our brain decides that we can interpret it and treating changelings as an extent. And maybe that's a little high concept, but for example, there's room for, um, say, taking a period where our changelings are dealing with the reality of everyone focusing on Jungian archetypes versus um, the previous beliefs that we had about fairies until about the Victorian period when they didn't live in a separate reality, 
they lived somewhere that was a little difficult to travel to. Fairyland was just another place, like going to Italy. Right. And, and it's only when things got really... Yeah, yeah, sorry, I could talk for hours about stuff. <laughs> it's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but that is something that I've always seen about Changeling in that, um, you know, for werewolf, you have the Umbra, and for vampires, if you're the right clan, you have the Abyss. And so these are all realms that are separate from, uh, from the mortal realm. And I like to think that being able to access the dreaming is just, being able to see it like it's always here and it's always around us and you just need this special skill to you know mage has sort of co-opted wake up but you know wake up to the dreaming and it just sort of it's almost like a gradient of how it transitions from waking to near dreaming to far dreaming yeah Maybe an aspect of it isn't so much waking up, it's the way that your brain removes your nose from your field of vision and mm -hmm. only allows you to see what's necessary for you to see because that'd be too much detail otherwise. So this would be essentially training your brain to see your nose again. Yeah, or the way that if you stare long enough at one color, you can temporarily burn out um, the... Um, cells in your eyes so that you can see colors you're otherwise not capable of perceiving because mm -hmm. um, you've overloaded that sensor and usually the colors cancel out each other based on everything in the brain basically being is it A or is it B? Yeah, so uh, Dixie and Khaldun, what are your thoughts? I'm going to be perfectly frank here because we're on the stream and that's that I was asked to fill in for this less than 24 hours ago so I have not thought about it. I, I appreciate you so showing up. Because I like them and okay. I want to whisper and be weird. Okay. <laughs> I have not played this game in probably 20 years. <laughs> Maybe not quite that long but it's been about 15 so. I, I hope I, I can make this a good experience for you. I'm sure you will. I played with you before. It's always been fun. That's part of why I was like, yeah, let's go. Thank you. But I'm definitely not uh, not quite as philosophical about it as uh, Panda is. I'm just like, I'm play a game. It'll be fun. Okay. Right. You know, yeah. that that is also super valid. <laughs> yeah, I think it helps that um, I was one of the people who was super fangirling out about the possibility of a LERP changeling um, coming out out again, so I spent a lot of time with people helping develop a chronicle, and then that got put on hold temporarily with that being discussed. I played the alpha slice of the Changeling 20 LARP at Midwinter last year, a couple years ago, and mm -hmm. it was super, super fun. So, I do, do you recommend? I was part of a peer pressure campaign to get uh, someone local to us to start up a Changeling LARP, and uh, yeah, we're doing what we can with the beta, and it's a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and I'm playing a selfie, and I love her. Yeah, we ran um, the Alpha Slice like test game out of um, Kane, which is our annual national convention for the Canadian Official Fan Club LARP group, and it went extremely well. Although um, I believe I and one other person were the only people by chance who picked Unseely, so it was one Shadow Court red cap, two Unseely red caps, and then a lot of she and a lot of everything else all Seely. <laughs> yeah. Harrison, Kaldun, do you have any thoughts on uh, this chronicle we're about to play? Um, honestly, I have been so swamped by finals week, I really had too much time to think about it. Um, it seems you all are incredibly passionate, though, and so honestly, if we just go with that, I think this will be time. How's that? Right. Yeah, I don't know. Is that, uh, I guess I have to have this screen up for me to actually control mute or not. Um, yeah, no, I've given some fun. I uh, uh, also usually work with a uh, slow, I guess, sort of slower one, uh, just because, uh, you know, I uh, grew up with vampires, wad, and so I, I like the darker, creepier things usually. Um, and I always gravitate usually to the unseen, the board is, you know, the things that are interesting to them, their philosophy um, interests me as a you know, role playing exercise. 
like not a you know a way to actually run my life. Um, and so like this time around, uh, I'll probably gonna go with a sheet. Some sheet. I, I usually when doing change network, I usually go for the um, usually for the younger or the calmer uh, classes of things. So uh, playing more of the kind of um, aristocrat, even if uh, not necessarily the uh, shining host type of aristocrat, uh, might be you know, something different for me. So, so that's kind of where I, I'm thinking right now. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, so a couple consent and calibration things I want to talk about. Uh, there's a lot of romance in this game. Uh, a lot of the plot is driven forward by who's in love with whom. And I just want to take everybody's temperature and uh, get your comfort level for playing out those sorts of storylines either with each other or with NPCs. And I don't anticipate anything getting super graphic. Just, you know, it's it's there and it's something I want to bring up and talk about. Okay. I mean, generally, I'm pretty easy going about most of that kind of stuff. Generally pretty comfortable with everything, so... Um, I'm more or less cool with that, too. I'd probably end up picking a character as I play and comfortably pan. I'm more likely in an environment like this, where it's being recorded possibly, to end up to pick a character who's a little bit more on the love side of things, but for the sake of stories, um, that fun's perfectly fine, and how I'd be interpreting it would depend entirely on the character. Um, we end up also being a slew along with everyone else, and we have the um, fattest, softest, whispery um, live stream <laughs> ever. Um, <laughs> that I would probably ask only that things have a tendency to be. So, but um, we have to see where the story takes us. Okay. I don't like playing around people I don't know. Totally fair. I don't know doing it, and I don't care if like if he flirts with me, but I will not be entering into any romantic assumptions as a character. I don't like that. Okay. Other people can. I don't care. Like, I'll just side um, a character. It'll be fun. All right. Uh, that That's totally fine. So, thank you for that clear bounty. Yeah, of course. That's what this part is for. Yep. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, no, I have no um, issues with uh, most romantic roleplay. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, if I'm uncomfortable with something, I'll, I'll say so about a character. Um... Uh, or we can fade the black or whatnot. There are a million different ways to handle it. But yeah, you know, as, as a rule, I don't really have any real issues off romance in the sense of uh, changeling in the way that that's like, it's not like courtly love kind of stuff. Um, I guess anything more serious than that, you know, I'll take it as it comes, but uh, not usually my usual move of RP. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks for all your feedback. Uh, and we will enjoy boundaries are respected. Um, are there any other things that you really don't? want to see. Uh, I personally don't enjoy violence against women. I don't enjoy on bots that have a focus, so that's just not going to be in this game. Uh, if there are other things that you guys are sensitive to that you just really don't want to see, uh, let me know. This may seem a little bit weird, but I think one of the things that tends to cause me to back away slowly is any sort of um, basically slut shaming, particularly when it's being held up against a female character, but also a male character is being like, ah, how they slept with so-and-so, how they slept with that person. It's just not something that works very well for me, and I find that I thrown at a character with the awkwardness of having to, no, 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 we can be mad at them. We're not going to be mad at them for that reason. I feel like change, like you tried to use that against a changeling, other changelings will all go so... I don't understand. Well, it's still worth um, putting out there as something where it's possible to have it as a topic, but it's not necessarily something I'd ever want to pursue. I'm pretty open-ended about what topics I can cover. Um, just, it's just something where it's going to be a story, and I'm going to be like, bup, 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 bup. you're not sympathetic right now. Cannot empathize. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Um, I have misophonia, so chewing sounds. <laughs> Nobody make them, please. Uh, I, I do, do too. Fist bump. Every now and then somebody will do it as like a sound effect. They'll be like, oh, I hear this like sound because like a monster is eating somebody. And then they make the sound and I'm like, ah, your buds fly across the room. Right. Oh no. Deal with it. Like cannot deal with it. So yeah. I, I cannot deal with that either. So that will not be appearing in this game. Good. It's just thing that people do sometimes not think about it. So. I could probably do ASMR if you're doing noises. I'm in the opposite. Like, uh, it'd be like a scary, scary monster is eating someone. And I'd be like, ooh, tingles. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, the ASMR thing, just that I hate, I hate those videos. Anyway, not important. <laughs> okay, but, but still, I, I do not want this game to cause you discomfort. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, there's nothing in particular I can 
all I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure if it comes up, I'll, you know. Make yeah. It clear. For me, it's weirdly nothing hard. Like, you want to just push it, go for it. It's just, like, little things. Yep. Yeah. I guess uh, the only thing I would say is I'm probably the same spectrum as you when it comes to, you know, you know violence. Like, uh, I, you know, in fiction and stuff, I like, you know, gore and all that. But, uh, yeah, violence, especially, like, sexual violence or, you know, violence against women, I'm not particularly interested in, you know, RPing that yep. or it being described yep. to me. So, yeah. I guess that's really the – since that's already been set as a line, then yeah, I'm, I'm very comfortable with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that's that's a – that's not Okay, awesome. So, uh, are there any sort of chronicle notes that people bring up right now before we go to full character creation? I'm going to take your silence as consent. Okay, so let's start with, yep. let's start with, uh, making characters. Uh, so I know that in the character creation process, uh, you choose a couple things first, but I think it's probably best if we all decide the way Kiff are playing. Or at okay, least I think, concept. Oh, uh, I think one thing I was looking at the book while we were talking, and I think I want to troll. Normally not how I run characters in RPGs, but I don't know, something about it kind of tension. Cool. So is this going to be a, a troll joining a slug gang or... What I'm not gonna play with everybody else. I don't like okay. playing with things. I'll I'll, yeah. I'll change it up. It's fine. I think I'm okay with doing Uko, and I'm just gonna go simple. Meow. Well, I'm Meow. gonna go she myself. So at the moment, I think you know. But I will be slow. Yeah, <laughs> you can be done from all slow to one slow. So you're you're safe. Yeah, I feel the same. I don't like I don't like doubling. Yeah, I don't make like two of like five people are playing the same thing, but it's like three or four or four people. I'm like yeah. Okay, so something about slow or uh, about she. Uh, so the she have an interesting history. Within the world of darkness, do you, uh, how do you sort of foresee this character responding to the shattering? All right, there we go. I got it yeah, figured out. Sorry. Uh, you mean, um, you mean the return to Earth in a sense? Uh, no, it's when they left. Oh, um, so I mean, this character would have been gone in a sense as well, and just recently returned. Right, so, so this is going to be set way before the Shattering. Oh, and yes. Sort of my question is, um, when we play up to that point, uh, you know, are, are you okay with playing a different character if your character does cross, or, you know, maybe some of your character ends up getting left behind and has to adopt the Changeling way just to survive? Or maybe you've already tried to adopt the Changeling way and you're the reason why the others are like, mm, let's not. Um, well, I think, you know, that's interesting, actually. I, I haven't really thought of that. I definitely, uh, was thinking of, uh, you know, finding a, um, uh, an unseely house, an unseely house, uh, of she that, um, uh, definitely exemplifies some of the, you know, the darker the setting as opposed to, um, uh, the more tongue-in-cheek ones, for sure. So, I mean, I guess, um, uh, I would see this character as, um, not one, if the, if, she, if it was a choice of staying or going, I think today yes so i don't really know how exactly that would affect him or if that would be possible okay uh that's that's totally cool and you know and it's not something you have to decide right now and if you know once we start playing up to that point you're like mm, i see the story going a different way you know we totally change that it's just something i wanted to bring up as a little matter cool uh, so yeah, let's let's start putting dots on paper uh, that's on paper. That's on paper. So we're starting in, as I said before, 11th century Wales. Uh, we could potentially use Dark Ages Fae, but I kind of don't want to. It's a really amazing game. It's super cool. Uh, but it would be a huge thing to stop using those rules once we sort of play forward into the future. So I'm just going to sort of... Yeah, just going to say all the rules up, so, yeah. Right. So even though there are season ports when the game starts... Um, you know, I would just prefer you to do Seely, Unseely, Legacy, and then if you're Seely, you're of the Spring or Summer Court, and if you are Unseely, you're of Winter or Autumn. Okay. Do we all want to play the same court? Yeah. I'm going to see, I think. No. Seely, too, probably. Are you playing Unseely, too? That's my preference, yeah. But I'll I mean, you. okay. Well, there we, okay. well if, if we split the party, then that's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, yeah, I figured that way we can you know, reach across the aisle, as it were. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but so. Uh, yeah, so if you look on the page uh, 148 of the C20 rulebook, you see a list of legacies. Uh, at this point, you choose two legacies. You actually choose CMC Lee. It's just that uh, whichever court you're on it, that's the one that is mechanically applicable when I to get willpower back and stuff. But your non dominant legacy is still part of you. Uh, but it's more like nature and demeanor with vampire, where demeanor is mostly left up to role play, and it's the nature that matters. So what legacy are people playing? So I was thinking going Paladin Beast. Those two could mix very well. It's sort of, you know, the Paladin, the sort of good guy who seeks the thrill of challenge, you know, always wants a fair fight. The bit of the beast that perhaps the reason they're the Paladin who sort of loves a fair fight, the challenge may be a little darker. <laughs> so yeah, sure, I, I really like that. That sounds pretty cool. Thank you. Eating rail. I think I'm going to play a solution probably just a wretch for the end of Gilly. Yeah, it's it's up to you. It could work. I'm flipping through some trainers because yeah. it's been several years since I've opened this book. Yeah, if you As go I to told Rachel last night, I flipped a couple of it after <laughs> this game. Yes, and and I appreciate you saying yes. Uh, if you go to page one forty eight, uh, you can see all the issues in a nice compact list. I know. I just like reading okay. longer pages okay. of text. Carry on. <laughs> I read from it. I think I take. No, I think I'm being bad. Actually, it's a very slow thing to do. Oh, yeah, that's cool. You live to uncover secrets, even if it's dangerous. Uh, do you have ideas to your Seelie legacy, or do you want some more time with that? I'm looking. I, uh, I think I'm going to go Courtier, or the like, Courtier, Sage, or there was one I liked, or Wayfarer. I think Sage would be interesting because in the description of Sage, it's wisdom is good, but it's even better when it's shared. So even with Pandora, you have this drive to uncover secrets and uncover the hidden. But now we'll talk about them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of like the idea of a little way like a secret gathering. You can't keep your mouth shut. <laughs> yeah, that's not the Secrets, wants everyone to know them. Yeah, love it. Yeah, you say in the description of Slow that perversity is Slow's trademark isn't just being wondering, so. I, I totally see this character, uh, if you reach modernity, totally joining the uh, internet piracy information wants to be free. Oh my god, I'm totally gonna be a, a hacker when I get to modern age. <laughs> um, <laughs> take a character from hackers. It's gonna be great. Okay. Um, I was, what's someone's being a reporter? Um, I was thinking a combination between Saint and Savage. That's a good man. That's really, really good. Uh, killed him. Um, yeah, yeah, I like, um, I like Saint or Regent, and, uh, I guess Fatalist probably for Unsealing. Okay. You, you get to be the party that was your friend. Cool, so, uh, now that everyone has their legacies and gets worked out, uh, singing. So, I really like what the 20th anniversary edition did in that it really separated Theming from the age gate, because these are editions, you really couldn't play a childling past about 12 or 13 years old. Uh, and if you want to play a child, that's cool. Uh, let's go there. But I like how C20 is more about your attitude and your outlook, and you could be a 60 year old childling who just never lost their sense of wonder and expense if that's just the pan that life has dealt you that you've always had to shoulder responsibility. Mm hmm. I really like they did it for this edition as far as like, it's just about your easy gold. Yeah. And not about actual age. Yeah, so uh, the seeming you put down right now will be more pertinent to your mortal identity. Uh, and so, you know, uh, after every season concludes, we're going to have character adjustment. Uh, and you can always revise your seeming then. So this is more of a, what is my character? How does my character get to be in the 11th century ways? Mm -hmm. so, uh, and also, uh, when Kaldun, if you want to be part of a she house, want to pick that or we can get later there are a lot of houses um yeah there are a lot of them actually um or you like stand up so that is nominally sealy very nominally i could definitely see unsealy thing in with the larger house uh, and that would also sort of comport with your concept of when the inhabits, my guy stays behind. 
I also see you being housed on Derek, the strategist, because like I'll they'll bet everything on the right risk. It makes sense for the shattering thing too. Got options. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll have to look it over. Yeah. Okay, and if you want your character arc to be found in your own house, you can totally do that. Okay. Uh. So, do you guys have sort of a concept right now of who you are as an incarnate changeling in Wales? I'm a kitty. Okay. What I've been thinking is while my character, I think, a little bit more... I think I've built in a little bit of um, versatility, at least the aspect as paladin and beast. I was thinking of me running a sort of rump, um, to this perception in Wales, a, a sort of freelance, a literal freelance... Cool. Um, like where the term comes from, like a, essentially a knight or some kind without a, a greater allegiance. Yeah, so basically sort of a knight mercenary. Yes, uh, with a little bit more of a, a desire for justice than the average mercenary, but still much mercenary. Awesome. Dixie or Kevin? Yeah, Dixie. I'm looking at it in terms of the character sheet because I'm assigning dumb stuff and kind of playing around. Um... I think her mortal life right now is probably like a young like servant, someone who kind of blend into the shadows and hear everything going on. Okay. That's kind of where like she's gonna start because that's a good place to really kind of hang out and be weird. Um, and access to a lot of places in like a, a house or a castle that nobody else has. And and that's great for wanting to collect secrets because at at this point in time and culture, servants are pretty much furniture. Yep, exactly. So she's those people who like eyes glaze right over her, like she's not remarkable or anything, but she is like always there, always listening. Okay. She's very good at just like sitting in a corner and people noticing that she's there. The absolute perfect spy. Yep. I was gonna go in the serving direction as well, or at least very common, but um, she's a girl or the very young woman that you commonly find in the kitchen. Um, because she's a cat, she's got an overlap with being a very good mouser, but the task <laughs> to do as a servant would not be like so the thing, the task would be for get or um, gather her or walk the baby. I mean, she'd be very excited if you told her to spin, but she'd get distracted by the spin around. <laughs> You're like a servant who's constantly getting, like, reprimanded for... Okay. Well, she has a deal with it for periods of time, but she keeps the storeroom very well. I say that one of the good things about my character is that because they notice that she's there, no one notices when she's not there. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, as, as long as... as gone, no yeah, they only notice you when the fireplace hasn't been cleaned. But they don't know who cleaned it. They know it didn't happen. Right. <laughs> Right, exactly. What about you? Can you hear me? All right, there we are. Um, yeah, I know. I've got some audio stuff going on here. Um, yeah, I guess I would be a, um, probably like a lesser scion of like a moneyed family with some like land, um, rounds and such. Uh, that, uh, yeah, I guess that would be the, the thing. So, um, nobility and mortality? Um, I don't know. If, no, I guess it, it just depends if we're in you know, Wales. Yes. Where we are. Uh, so, yes, I guess. Uh, it will be uh, very strongly informed by how the game turns out when I play Crusader Kings 2 and I start in Wales. Uh, this well, is a super easy way for us all to get together, and I like that concept. Yeah. just kind of worked like that because if then I have a first house and then they've hired Harrison's character for some reason, done. Together. Oh. Yeah, so I feel like. Oh, yeah, and you call me Harry, by the way. Harry, okay. Yeah, it, I'm fine with anything, but yeah, you can call me. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it, it may, you know, you are all attached to probably a manor house somewhere in Cornwall. Yeah. Cool. All right, so let's move on to putting dots on sheets. So right now we move on to traits. You prioritize three, three categories. You put seven dots in some physical. Seven dots among your primary, five among your secondary, and three among your tertiary. Yep. So already done. Cool. Yep, already. I've been making games for too long. <laughs> yeah, I know. A little bit feeling. behind people. You know, I've never played a Puka before. Okay. I was thinking that going with the cat pickle would be pretty important. Yeah, um, I guess there you are. Yeah. Um, probably not much way of strength. But um, I was thinking of her as being a cat. She's a little bit more savage on that side. Um, but other than that, would you say any more social or mental? And do you think it should be um, secondary or primary? I mean, cats are not very smart, but they are super charismatic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But that also works with the various arts she's going to have. Like, what schools are they out of? Uh, that will be up to you to figure arts. Mm -hmm. so okay, perfect. Yeah, so, like, there's 
So in Vampire, there's discipline game, where you're a vampire, here are your three disciplines. Whereas in Changeling, it's like, here's magic, pick what you like. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I really like it. Well, everybody's looking, if you just want to know what I've picked, I've gone with mostly mental challenges um, because of my character. So I got Brown Perception, Three Intelligence, Wits, I Special Secondary, Fifty Charisma, Four Manipulation, Two Appearance. Um, and then Fifty Charisma, my voice, I got three decks because flows are weird and made early. Mm -hmm. um, but then one strength and two stigma, so. I can squeeze through stuff, but that's about it. I can't really get yeah. I'm social. I'm school mental and social in order. Most of these. That is really great. I guess it would probably make sense to pull three dots into perception just because cats are very perceptive. Mm -hmm. I feel like cats have wits too. I feel like you could oh, two dots of perception, one dot of wits, and then I just need to grab a lot of my five into social. I'm trying to hit all four of my physical dots, or all of them, sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sweetie and weird, but I can't, I can't take a punch. Please don't hit me. And that's a really good reason if you don't want to hang out with the troll. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. It's not, not power games at all. I'm not very <laughs> physical. Okay. Uh, I'm stuck deciding between three, six, or eight, five, and four each. And I think it makes more sense to go with four each. It's not easy, and they're both a lot of dice. Yeah. I can't decide between two manipulation and um, one appearance, or if, um, two um, appearance and one manipulation, because cats are incredibly vain. I feel like... Yeah, mm. but they're also really good to continue to have a two-pack. Yeah, I feel like manipulation is probably Maybe not so dramatic like then. Are you not going to have a two-pack? Okay, two -pack. Okay. I heard you. So let's say. So two dots of appearance, dots of manipulation, and charisma, and reasonable cat. Okay. Slash serving girl, slash. Where did she go? Oh, she's over <laughs> in firewood. Okay. Uh, how about you? She's tell both them? the bane and the joy of some organ's life, I'm sure. Yep. Yes. How about you, Kevin? Um, well, I'm social primary, um, and I can't decide where is organ secondary. Probably mental secondary. Um, as for, like, how is the unseelie house is the only one that really calls to me right away, really, is Han, I guess. Uh, that that way. Which one, I'm sorry? Uh, on page 51, lean on. Okay. Because of RG, unseelie house, and if four morals and fail, like, create and shape part of the world. Okay. Uh, if I... Uh, yeah, if I recall my change number correctly, they pretty much perfect the rabbit technique. No, Rhapsody. It's worse, it's Rhapsody. Uh, cool. So, moving on there, uh, we get the three of the categories, talents, skills, and knowledges, 1395, assign as you wish. Uh, obviously, things like drive or technology are going to be appropriate. So, if you're sick and you make a medical, and you see, I'm not telling you this person needs antibiotics, I am far likely to this person needs witches. Fun. Yes. Uh, like, you kind of know the right herbs. Maybe. Yeah. Talent, primary, skills, secondary, knowledge, tertiary. Um, it, it goes with your, uh, actions, oh, okay. So, like, your primary is usually the same primary. So, she's primary just, just then. Okay. I, I will say that you will need one dot of academics if you want to be literate. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it is a knowledge. Knowledge. Uh, yeah. it's, it is not. Yeah, it's not. There's politics, science, medicine, lore, logistics, law, investigation. Oh, wow. Enigmas and Confucius. I like this. 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 That's actually a tough call because there's a history of cats setting up in scoriums. Yep. So I might just give her point to academics that she doesn't bother telling anyone about. Yeah, I've, she's been around a cat. I, I've seen pictures of old, like, 13th century manuscripts of Paul Prince. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, well, at that particular time, he is a boy. Folks, it's 13 and 5. Yeah, it has to do with our treats. It doesn't have to. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. often that way, but. I'm also really a fan of player agency, so even if that was a rule, I would probably say I don't like it so you don't have to follow that rule. Okay, so I've got count, primary, knowledge, and secondary, law, investigation, and law, and acts. Now, tertiary, melee, well, if you just do all melee. Okay. So tertiary is melee, yeah, that works. Can I see a mug? My tertiary is melee. Yeah. I actually took my phone live, I had a D&D stuff, and it said, so there's my dumb stuff. Nice. I was like, my boyfriend tried to get one, but it was my dumb stuff, they were sold out in his size. Aww. Tertiary, so all Larson is mine? Very appropriate. I'm gonna talk whether she's having a little or not. I can see her having a daughter too. 
I just like grabbed the wrong like edition, but I think I did. Yeah, I don't think roll all because it's cat. Yeah. And to be honest, empty because they always seem to know when sick. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think I got the wrong sheets, and that's what's wrong. Oh no. Yes, and I will get you the right one here. Okay. I mean, you don't have to do it if it's too much later. I will find it. Okay. I just shoot at my well now. Yep. No, I think I got a second edition because this cover looks the same, and it also has a two in it, so you know. Oh no. Yeah, the whole top part's the same. Okay. So like, the skills they're different, and I was like, wait, this doesn't even look right, and it didn't match with my book. I was like, we just got out of the book, and I was like, wait a minute, I'm just really. I am fixing it. Okay. Brilliant. I don't have performance, although stealth and survival definitely. Mm -hmm. I've realized that for my character, the modern version of him is definitely an FBI agent. Like, holy crap. <laughs> Investigation law pounded with the beast underlying. I I look forward to getting there. Oh boy. So far, um, let's see, for physicals that we need, let's, let's roll empathy. We can go intimidation because she's going to keep trying it, even if cats aren't necessarily intimidating, but it's part of their motif. Isn't it to you, Harry? Brilliant. Thank you. No problem. That was very weird about that. Okay. What canning? Let's see, Billy She's a cat. Definitely. And Gray Mary Meyer? I, I'm... Uh, that's essentially a cult for James. Oh, okay. It's just the way that you understand glamour and stuff. Like, you need a ton of things for the reading of the cult. Uh, Gray Mary. Right, but like, the actual knowledge of Ray is, like, that's how you see. Like, and right. that's, 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 that's how you know things about. Or and the shattering and everything. Okay. Uh, oh, really? Quiet. Okay. Hey. Okay. I played the wrong one there. It's okay. Okay. So how how are people thinking about about their ability? Uh, so I far so good. I need Enigma. Okay. Are we ready to move on to backgrounds? Um, okay, uh, so backgrounds are pretty much how they are in most rules games. Uh, you've got resources, which is money, you've got holding, which is live, uh, you've got your dreamers, you've got your corner. Uh, a couple unique ones here are Chimera, which are sort of things that have that really only exist in the dreaming, uh, foreign treasures, which are magical items that exist in the realms, and you also have remembrance, which is your ability to remember your past lives. Uh, what that, uh, tells you my life is title, give you a rank, and change society. So you have five dots to distribute among all of your backgrounds. Okay, go two for title, so I'm going to sell you a disgrace tonight, a freelance. Then three for treasures, quite possibly. Okay. So what for treasures are you thinking? I imagine mean, your character may be talking about a sword or something. Yeah. Okay. Might be a bit cliche, but I don't know. It, I mean, this is out of the century core wall. I have totally oh, been sorry. researching our very thing for this game. It really matter if I ever have three moments or three dreamers because cats are very good on people who appreciate and admire their cats. You know, I'm kind of shaking myself. It took me this long to think, oh yeah, because of my life's jokes about your remembrance. That's simply a better one. Okay, so what, what are other people thinking uh, regarding that? Uh, well, I'm going to take three in title. Okay, um, so we're pretty well ranked. Uh, for Baron, because I'm um, and one holding and one on resources. So I'm, uh, my, my mortal family uh, is, uh, you know, uh, they're kind of uh, up with the times. So they're uh, they're they're property in the value of their, um, you know, their kind of rural state. Uh, you know, not, not, you know. Okay. How about Dixie and Matt? I'm taking some remembrance because I mean, that helps you remember a bunch of information. Yeah, yeah, you can, which you can is, carry yours. Yeah, which is the kind of thing that my character would probably have. Um, yeah. Just guess here, so that's very graphic. I want only two. I don't know that many backgrounds. I just take a bunch of remembrance. So now, are the player's guides that are kind of cool, like an animal companion? Yeah, kind of if, if you want to take that as a player, that's totally cool. That was and a really, player's guide. Yeah, it's a really well written book. Really like did it. Yes, I don't own it. I wish I did. Yeah, uh, and that's also sort of what gave the idea. It's not feel too tight to give, and that's more focus on concept, because mm -hmm. the player's guide has a whole bunch of new kids from all over the world, and so it's sort of got me thinking like, you know, Trickster is kind of universal, and the Defender is universal, and you know, what if all the changelings are playing out different archetypes? Mm -hmm. So. 
Yeah, anyway, I'll be playing next week because before we actually play, I'm going to go through it right now because I can find it, but maybe I'll remember something else. I don't really think my character would have holdings or really like pieces or anything if she is a servant. Yeah, uh, I can see having uh, a chimera or a treasure. Uh, when I ran a shuffle a couple weeks ago, the Slua had a couple little um, skeleton spiders that he could actually wipe so okay. I, okay. I want a chimera friend. I want them to talk. Because I want a goddamn bat friend. Okay, so you got a chimera bat who can uh, hang out in the dreaming and spy for you. Mm hmm. Because how many dogs are you putting into your chimera? I'm going to do two. I'm going to do this in email. Um, you know, if we get more stuff later, I might run them up. But for right now, I can also show what we're going to do. Alright, then. Uh, so are we all, are we all have our backgrounds in play? Yes. Awesome. So now we get to do the really fun part, which is arts and realms. So, arts are changeling magic. They are spells you can cast, and they are super powerful, which is why you'd need to use realms to find them. And so, I really like this one because it gives a lot of internal facility. So if you are using the shinery art, it's going to turn out different based on whether you're using the realm or the nature realm or the prop realm. Uh, and so you can choose whatever realm you like. Uh, you feel sort of tight either one. You get three dots to put in arts wherever you like, and five dots to put in realms. So, uh, one important thing to note is that when you cast a uh, candidate, you have to apply a realm. You apply as many as you like, but you get at least one. But uh, in scene and time cannot be on all. So scene and sort of, they modify other realms. It's funny, like, you're talking about my reading this ten years ago. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I, I looked at the card game that was sort of the... Genesis of this whole system. And it looks like a really good idea, and I'm sad it never really went anywhere. Because I've also seen pictures of the cards, they're super pretty. So you can, um, again, on page 149, there's a summary of Rates and Realms. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's better to have about one bot in a bunch of different, different arts, or do you think it's better to have one in one bot? Um, usually. <laughs> Yeah, it's usually better to have a higher level than one specialized, unless it's a particular, like, get you're looking for. So, right. Yeah, though to be honest, in changeling, as I'm sure you know, uh, it, the powers are less Ooh, defined. Ooh, it's so cool. character less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you know better than us on your, your name, you're the editor, but... I just read that. I just read that. I just something, and then I immediately forget it. It just goes on my head. So, I edited this four years ago now. I haven't said that, so I'm, just, I'm a lot trying to remember, like, exactly what things are. Like, like I said, once I like, oh, wait, I got this, but, like, it takes me a second. That's fine. And that's what this game session is for. I'm definitely taking some things in Sky. Okay, I, I assumed you were going to Dragon Sire, but it's Dragon Sire? Yeah, Dragon Sire. Dragon Sire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's almost the physical fight. fight. The thing is, I love the idea of like, especially on the race speed or whatever it's called. It's so cool, especially for a really high character. Yeah. You'd be having incredible races ridiculously high speeds. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Naturally assisted. Um, so, or the, like, a, you know, fire breathing. I really like that day. That's cool. Thank you. I ended up picking Camry and Vapor as the two arts to focus on, and I was thinking one dog of Camry and two dogs of Wayfair because the cat goes where it leads. Yep. But um, an affirmation and scene seem to be the three realms practical, and I'm trying to figure out if I'll be right. I mean, pro pro seems, seems cool because cat knock things off shelves all the time. How does um, affinity uh, of this? Like, if your kid has a particular affinity for a certain word? Uh, I believe you get an extra die to roll. Uh, I will double check that while you guys apportion dots. Okay, got dots. I'm wondering if something other than Chamory would be appropriate for this um, character in terms of um, Cam's much hunt versus Cam's schedule, which strange just because it has a connection. Yeah, so, a federal, it will be feasible to buy one if you are casting Cam that uses the wrong affinity with. Yeah, um, I'm just not sure what would be the best fit. I think it's for Cam, I'm not sure if any other ones do. I'm most thinking Dragon's Otter might have a Cam, which is a bit of a fighter. Sure. Is there a shape one, like metam what, metamorphosis? Uh, yeah, about metamorphosis, you'll be through this cat. Oh, you're, uh, you can shape shift. What am I mean? Yeah. I take metamorphosis because it's fun to mess people. Do I have metamorphosis default, or do I need to pay metamorphosis if I keep? Uh, I would like to take metamorphosis shift, then remember that you are and they can cheat that. Yeah, so I have an inherent quality, yes. and since I can't see her wanting to say be a bird, if you can choose to add. <laughs> yeah. The only way to hunt be the bird. Too philosophical for this cat. <laughs> okay. Excuse me, I can go knock some clay pots off the shelf later. <laughs> Fair enough. Hmm, I kind of like the, the dragon. Dragon's ire does seem pretty cool. Someone else is going to take it in my gravity. Dragon's um, ire to explain how I'm capable of how did you even get up there? Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that's a little for dragon's ability. 
Um, that would be Dragon Lighter plus, uh, say, Seen if she was climbing stuff. Oh, okay. So like one. Okay. Or I might use Dragon Lighter and Actor because she'll let out someone's face, claws on sheep. Okay. Making my eyes unhappy. <laughs> yep. And then I just uh, the savage part of my aspect when I use um, Ed Mousy. Perfect. Or no, it's, not Ed. it's still alive. I'll have it. I like to bite their heads off. Gruesome. Meow. What are you doing? What are you thinking? Uh, I'm looking at Club. Uh, sorry, I'm looking at Sarcy and, mm -hmm. and uh, at Onomancy. Those are the two that I'm looking at right now. Yeah, uh, I really hope someone does take Onomancy because I like I'm it. I'm going to love it. Uh, so either it's one or the other way around. Uh, I think Dreaming is a tool. My personal certification, I mentioned it before. Uh, the Dreaming is the collective unconscious humanity. It is the sum total of the story that people tell each other. And so, an Aeromancy is sort of able to get to the heart of that. So, like, Gremlins, say, for me, or it should be useless. Uh, let me walk you to that one. Um, that is page 19. I think it could be useless for now. Most Gremlins are destroying electronic gas. Yeah. Electrical devices? So it would be kind of useless. But I think okay. there are other things you need for now. Or, I mean, there's only one, which is pretty useful. Oh, I forgot to take all these instructions. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm probably going to go with a flight. Uh, it'd be a lot more controlled and non specific. That sounds like fun. I like it with non specific things. Yeah, I would say that if anyone in the 11th century understand it, oh, man, there just isn't a whole lot of complex machinery. Yeah. Well, actually, there would be complex machinery. I don't know, like, that's common to the sort of different kinds of, like, going tools, or is that sounds really? I believe it's too early. Okay. We have Gremlin, though, this does make sense for the, no, this makes sense for the, um, for the stuff craft. Seeing the Gremlin animals or mod these in these people, it doesn't make sense for I mean, that's fair with you. They're, the Gremlins, uh, they have restored Gremlins, and they can bring convenient gusts of wind, or... Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Good. And like scare, scare livestock, and yeah. so similar effect, basically. Yeah, like that. They didn't right. just find someone for themselves. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go free and stop craft then. Cool. That hurricane did you tell me. <laughs> Alright, uh, is everybody else ready to go into the next thing? I. Okay, tempers. So everybody starts with four willpower, four glamour, and three banali. If you are a childling, you get one extra glamour. If you are a grumpy, you get extra willpower. And if you decide to be a wilder, you can choose either glamour or willpower. That is very quick, mostly just some paperwork. So, what names did people choose? I forgot to add that. I mean, nice, you can mention that one. Okay, and then the next step after we get two numbers is going to be birthrights and fealties. And this is all going to be very specific to your gifts. So, I know that uh, for Panda, birthright, the initiative, and your fealties is that you cannot speak a clear truth. Yes. I always appreciate what my arm makes you feel like I'm just looking the book constantly. So I just like, like first I have to play with one thing left, I just didn't know y'all. That totally works. Oh, I'm gonna have to help you say the game if I wanna play it right when I go here. Cause you took off the way from me and it looked like me at the time. I got a lot worse, but yeah, I felt like, I'm gonna talk like this the whole time I'm actually picked up on my really good closer. Or do you, um, Rums? Okay. Yeah, I'll just, 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 I'll to use it on the right human or something, right? Yes, yes. so if you're you probably want a couple dots in matter. Uh, you might also want a dot or two in Bay. So for Skycraft, what do you think would be useful there? Uh, I think you would definitely want some scene, uh, and probably some prop and nature. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was looking at nature, it seems pretty important. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I got our birthright could be or come down. I don't think anymore. Just a second. Okay. Because uh, one thing I want to do is I want to skip ahead a little bit in the creation process. I guess that right now, according to the learning book, now is when people spend their few points in their buzz. Uh, I'd like right now to skip the eight in which uh, you all pick your musing and ravaging thresholds. So, musing and ravaging are both how changelings can harvest glamour. And musing is pretty serving as a literal use. You find artistic and inspired mortal things. You convince them to create really wonderful things in the world. Uh, and ravaging is sort of like that, except you're evil. Uh, and so, the musing thresholds are inspire creativity, create hope, create love, create calm, foster trust, help those in need, and foster dreams. Whereas the ravaging thresholds are foster activity, destroy hope, destroy love, create anger, fix trust, exploit tendons, and destroy illusions. So if you are silly, you're more likely to engage in musing. If you are unsealy, you're more likely to engage in uh, But it's up to you how you see, this is how my character 
created glamour for everyone when they're in a good mood, and this is how my character harvests the glamour when they're feeling just really selfish and fuck Okay. Yeah, I'm not sitting at it because I have a preview point. I have a bit. Oh, wait, reading girl, I'm not going to read it. People have to slip the test. And so the next thing that you get to do, this one is really open ended, is you get to pick your antithesis. And the rules for this is on page 174, and your antithesis is pretty much your finality trigger. And so this is something that is unique and specific to you that will always trigger in the finale chat yet. Our uh, list of possible ones on page 269 and 6, if anybody wants to get a little information on someone before. Yeah, and so, pretty much the way I see it is that when you're playing Change Link, the big thing it's about, it's half about creative or inspiration, but it's also wonder about possibility and what could something be. And I think that's part of why the moon landing was such a pivotal, pivotal event in Change Link history, was because you had all these people. United possibly, like, you found the frontier, you're something new, interesting, wonderful, what's going to happen next, anything could happen next. And so that is the essence of glamour and finale, is the essence of possibility to destroy it. We know what's going to happen next. It's a really bad movie, it's a telegraph, uh, you know, if it's a lot of that coming from my way. And so, for your character, we see other than the trigger, but what, what was for your sense of belief? What your sense of wonder? So, uh, the examples, you know, look, uh, interfere with the play of children. So you say, put the boy down, you need to go study. Uh, you break object, great duty, so not, not enjoy getting inspired by it. Uh, if you wear a suit on your mortal body, uh, you know, because that could, uh, from the modern perspective, it could be like, oh, I'm going to conform, I'm going to try and fit in. Uh, if it's not a compliment, it's the full list itself. So, Papi, uh, what do you think your person are? Mine's probably something to do with the discretion and knowledge. Or, like, whether that is, like, a book or any type thing, or, like, seeing a really, I mean, that's something I know with things like which trials, seeing somebody who's just really present, being the death. Yeah, and my idea is just someone like it asking a question about, like, things kind of taboo, and the old thing, talk about that. Yeah, it'd be like a minor trigger, but I think that, like, make it, like, a super antithesis. So it would be, like, being completely destroyed. Okay, okay. I feel like it's a little twin to be like a personal or something, but it's not the same thing. Okay. Mine would be breaking an oath 100%. And so um, that, that's already something you have to deal with as a troll? Okay. Yeah. So, so oh, so, I let the jump trigger though, which is good when it broke his mind. Okay, is that regular? Yes, so, yes. Let the dice at the top Yeah, oh, this is something good. that is personal and unique to you. So, for you, okay. I might see it as if, uh, so you're feeling like you always have to have income, so you have to serve a dishonorable award, or maybe, uh, mm. perform a task that you know is dishonorable, but you have to do it for you. That sounds, that's a good one. Like, I'm just under, just decent, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, triggers is described in detail on page 269. That also details a little bit on page 124. And yeah, this is right here. So, I see Okay, so, trigger? Yeah, trigger is. I'm trying to figure out what I'm thinking of. You're being into this now, trigger. Random versus trigger, so you can't have it. Trigger, 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 Right, the ones that are the are the, um, the Okay. 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 That is a really interesting trigger for a member of nobility, because you are going to have to flatter a lot of contemporaries, a lot of battles, who probably don't deserve it. That's why I read it. Okay. Hey. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a valid compliment. They were very bad. Sometimes for whatever we have to do, we have to do the enemies for chat. Why not? Being completely submerged here. You know, an interesting thing, this is a little too plain, like in a hard mode. You have to probably turn over, they have to eat meat. But this diet in the world is pretty much vegetarian. You guys are lucky. I was going to give her no allergy to onions. That girl was going to be real rough. As, as an incentive? No, it's oh, also, oh. you're also going to be really I'd see that I'm being chased after prey might be something there. That's true. Either being chased after prey, or I would say we're being a protect sack. Because you can't protect the water. Okay. So, uh, you know, chase invaders might be it. She'd be more afraid. So, uh, if they only chase invaders, and what's the other one? They only chase prey. But you just roll over one and save those. Yeah, yeah, I like to see Strider Knight, but because another thing is that they have their territory, and it's their territory, and they're going to defend it. So, yeah, yeah, tolerating and deliberate, something like that. Yeah, um, she could certainly back down if it was a fight, but she decided that this was a kitchen for a person. Cool, like that. Yeah. And, um, I just figured out that, um, how she inspires, though she has to always have to calm down all the time, too. Okay, cool. And so, now we get to the step we miss, and get 15 freebie points to send, and this is also, if you want, when you pick Nurse's Dog. 
just seeing spend and just like everything. Yeah. Different things. There's a special table um, I'm in right now. One forty-four. One forty-four. Thank you. It's like the card dumping. Right? Oh. I was like, hey, look, initials come out. Excited. Uh, so if you get flaws, you get flaws about in three ways. Then merit or resistance cost in X points in three ways. Uh, I suggest it's also a good idea to get some lower because it's really expensive right now and it gets really expensive when you're UFP. Okay. Uh, and then also when like you're thinking like, oh, I want that extra attribute or I wanted that sort of fourth dot in that art or that role. I know it's like that. So I take this. The hop back points. Um, nope, this is going to be a different speed of fairy. We think of more than station fairies and how to build them. Oh no. There's a weird sound that's going on here in the. I don't know, it sounds like sticky and rally and stuff. I think the computer is this better. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to just deal with it. Yeah, sorry about that. My computer is currently trying to wait quietly to try to use the search feature. Oh, that's Merfolk. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, what, what are you looking for? I was looking to go back to the points table to see if all the other books are just full back and see if I just control F. It was not the most of a way to get there since I could go all the way around. No, I'm able to just type 144 at like page length of 40 or whatever. There we go. And then some three. Yes, I would be able to buy more wheels. Uh, it's also not a bad idea to buy other glamour. Because now it's starting in. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm just going to make flaws. Hmm. What sort of flaw are you thinking of? I'm thinking I'm going to take um, the form. I just signed a really bad battle star because they spelled like one of the coolest ones, but like, been really bad. I'm not sure that'll be yet. Uh, you could, you could lost uh, a free information feature, like an ear or even your nose. I could have lost like, an eye, maybe, or a whole gum. A nose, like, that's a very simple. Yeah. Where, where are people at? I was going to get some more power and then I'm going to buy more um, abilities, sorry, the abilities, which are the three different categories of tongue cells and all over here. Or maybe yeah, just perfect burns the oh. face and head just on yeah. the side too, so you get one side with like hair and skin, and it's like molten. Well, not molten, you know. Sounds good. So, so what was fire like if you were to fight burn? Probably during siege, I got boiling oil poured on me. Oh, okay, that'll do it. Uh, yeah. Might this be why you stopped being a knight in retinue and became a freelancer? That could be actually. That would be a good one. Okay. And I have a twitch. Um, definitely something to do with. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, what are you looking at? Are you going to go with some metrics as well? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking at natural and, um, you know, willpower glamour or something. I might, um, I'm going to buy points off or something, I'm not sure. Okay. And of course, uh, nothing you do right now is in stones, because I know we only have so much time, and we are coming up on uh, the two-hour mark. So, okay. you can tinker with your characters, and play with freebies, and merit flaws. Okay. I keep the cat perfect balance, and, um, one point, I'll be on in the garlic. Okay. And, uh, two points, three, I'll be flawed. That's so awesome, like that. And then I said, um, points and willpower, because that's useful, mm -hmm. and I bought an additional amount of this, maybe, and, um, I'll get this. Sounds right. I might need to say, I'll have a group. I had a few little things, but I'm probably going to play with some more things, just because I'm going to play with some more as well. Yeah. Or I just want to have some of the smash balls, like, jewelry guys or something, that's fun. Or, um, I don't know. I know they're kind of, like, you know, haunted, it's all kind of fun. I think a ghost, that was me. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's appropriate for willpower. Yeah, that's probably going to, like, bend in, because you're not going to actually identify me, I'll do something else. So, I'll keep that my free points, but I don't want to change on flaws, and before I'm done. Yeah, that's cool. Point, just on the yes, got it. The two merits of flaws, like, if you point, you can point, you can't block what you're doing. Yeah, so you don't want to use, like, spend all your points, you can just be like, I'm torn, but I'll spend all day, exactly. Nothing as bad as the oil arrows. Yup. Exactly. So you got, like, a down from the game with the second one? Did it, yeah. Now you just need to, uh, reunite with the eight-year-old girl, little girl. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, how are you playing other characters that we created on Molly? I like her. Awesome. awesome. I think that's pretty character that's pushing in any room. I think that's part of the same as what we were using, so we're trying to avoid the old PSD fairies quite the show in the world. And then use flashbacks. I feel like PSD well, is another change link we make. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very so. <laughs> yes. Perhaps we'll save this concept for one where we dive into the new trauma. As opposed to. Well, it's not pretty gay. I love change link. Yeah. Like yeah. But yeah, I'm completely attached to my Kiwi kitty and already thinking about regrettable Etsy for purses of cat ears, which is <laughs> great. This is the first time in my life I'll pretend to be a cat. I'm missing uh, all the lances that Keldoon and I are going to share while the food is being filled. And you can look away. I, I totally look forward to running others for audio. Uh, but I do think it's probably about time to wrap up, uh, and so this is about when we do a round table and we talk ourselves up and do our own stuff, uh, so let's just go around in a reasonable way. Ah, no, I'm doing my thing. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm going to run fast, so if you want to help us change on the thing, if you're interested in person or something. Um, also, we run the NIX podcast, so please check that out if you want to do our podcast, if you don't know who's going to do our podcast, if you want 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 to do our podcast, if you want
Olympia, if you want to look at pictures of my cats, obviously. Right, uh, have you realized this show will arrive quickly and then I'll just have to see that in a should not be there. It's fine, that's why the night, that's okay, I can't say. Yeah, it's like, I can't watch you, anyone want to promote Kaka? Um, yeah, you can find me on, uh, Patreon as, uh, Dune, uh, he's making a song there for whatever reason, uh, Paul's in his line. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can find me. Uh, you're not really yeah, far really away from, yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, uh, thank you for the other five episodes, I'm here. Awesome, uh, Harry? Yes, um, you can see me on the uh, Night Pass stream. I am uh, I'm a twin now, I guess. Um, Little Brook, I play Nate and Nat. It's a great, uh, great people episode. changeling. Yes, yes. changeling. <laughs> I also play a, a former inquisitor in um, Club City. Nice. Uh, which you should all check out. I also have a podcast on my own. Um, Dark Knight. Uh, season, one, season one is finished. Now, season one finished. Um, season two is in the works. It, it will be under the vigil uh, set in the set at the uh, dawn of the Battle of Sertoga, so the oh, 1700s. Awesome. A bit of departure from the Vampire the Masquerade of uh, modern. Uh, sort of set the first season. That's cool. Uh, the Vigil is my favorite Chronicle Dragon. I'm mm. not going to tell you what word files I have open on my computer right now, then. I'm jealous. <laughs> the last chapter, also. Awesome. <gasps> oh, I can't wait. Uh, okay, that's not me. Anything you want to vote? I'm looking at my little face here over Vancouver. Other than that, um, there is AIM 2020 in Montreal this year coming up. And I'd love to see you there. It's perfect for us in Montreal. Also, you can find me um, on Instagram and Twitter at as at V E E O L S. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm a storyteller, Rachel. Uh, one thing I really like to promote, and I drop a link in the chat, a uh, product, a uh, spec product that I contributed to just came out the other day, in Media Rays. I wrote artifacts, etc., about uh, fallen Hollywood empires and repatriating artifacts, and uh, all the other adventures there are also really good. I love writing it, and you have to play it. Uh, and of course, it's for the Trinity Canyon. Yes, yes. Which just came out 